I've got quite a large project pan. I don't know if I'm biting off more than I can chew. <laughs> but these are products that are either getting on and I need to get rid of them, or they're just products that I use every day anyway, so they will naturally become panned. So that's how I'm doing it. First up, Extreme Caution Mascara. I use that every day. It's a black. I like skinny ones and I like fibre. I don't like those pokey plastic ones, so I really like that wand. And I'll use that up before I open another one. Then next I have got the Nils Yard Remedies Shea Nut and Rose Hip Organic Lip Formula. All the letters are coming off, so there it is wound down. So there's still a lot to go. I'm going to wind it all the way up and you're going to be like, oh my god, because I feel like I'm never ever going to finish it. I've had this since um late summer last year can you just get in please oh it does go back down yeah there it goes so i've had that since late summer last year and you know you get these um how long you can use it for once you've opened it little symbol on there i think <laughs> it's come off now but i think it said three months so i've had that for more than three months it doesn't taste funny it's not yucky but i just use that every night before i go to bed and i just use it all throughout the day and whatever but i can't seem to get rid of the thing oh come on i'll be glad when that's gone i'll have a party right next up i've got the urban k naked skin color correcting fluid in the shade peach and i've had all these standing upright it's settled and you can see where that is i've had this for a little while and you can't get it anymore and i have been looking for other colors as you'll see i've got another thing here what i want to get rid of but um yeah i need to use that up and i think i have another color that might match it but i'm not sure yet because <laughs> it, it's a present and i haven't seen it yet I've got to wait for it. <laughs> and then next, I have got the Fenty Beauty Mini Glosses. And I can see this one's down to here. Can you see that one? And this one, I think I can see there. But I have had these standing upright. I don't know. This one doesn't, this one's not as used as, as the peach one. But the reason that I'm annoyed with them, I've had them a little while. But all the paint's coming off. I hate that when all the paint comes off things. But I have had them for a while anyway. I've got Taffy Tees, which is the peach one, and Baby Brute, which is the, the uh, pale one. So I need to use those up because I just hate all the glitter coming off. So I need to hurry up and use them. I don't seem to use glosses as much. Um, and then what have I got next? MAC Strobe Face Glaze Illuminators. Two of them in shade... And I see that they're different. This is the gold one. This is called Magic Hour. And this is a more pinky colour one. And this is the shade Let's Make Waves. And I like using these in the inner corner to give that little wet look. They're supposed to be, you, you can use them on your cheeks as well, like a, a highlighter. They don't have a thing that says when they go off. So do they not go off? But I need to get more use out of them anyway, because I've had those a little while. Um, so they need using and then next I have got Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation samples I've had these uh, a couple of months I don't think I'll be buying the full size but if I use these up and I decide after having a lot of use that I do like them maybe I'll get one but um, at the moment I've used them two or three times each I think and they're not my favourite at the moment, but I need to use those up. What have I got next? Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance. Shadow Insurance? Is it Shadow Insurance or Eyeshadow? Because it's worn off. The letters have worn off. So there's the Eyeshadow Insurance. This came in a little pack together because they're mini ones. And there's the glitter glue. So I need to use those up. They're little minis, you can see. I don't know why I'm getting all that glare. I'm not an expert with the camera. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I need to turn the light down. Let's see. I could try that. I don't know. I don't want it to be too dark. Is that too dark? I don't know. Um, what's next? Becca, under eye. Brightening corrector in the shade light medium. And this is all, of, I've had it a little while, all the 
um, metallics coming off. You'll see I've used it quite a bit. It's not my favourite. I don't know if you can tell very well how low down. It's quite low. When I put this on my eyes, it leaves like a grey tinge because I've got really dark circles. It's, I don't like it. <laughs> so I just use it up. I'm just going to use it up. I hate panning. I hate panning it. I use it every day and I don't think I look terrible, but I don't think I look as good as I could with other products. So I won't buy that again, but I'm just going to use it up. Then I've got Dermalogica Hydro Blur Primer and this squishes down. I don't think there's anything behind it. I really like that. I love it. Makes your face nice and smooth, uh, blurs your pores, which is what it suggests with the Hydra Blur. And I think it colour corrects a tiny bit. So it comes out white, can you see it? And then I swear, but I put it on my face and it changes colour a little bit. Can you see it's got a bit of a colour now? I don't know if you can see in my camera, but I think it colour adjusts as well. I like that, it's because it adds a, uh, like a really subtle bit of coverage, like evening out, I think. Very subtle though. I wouldn't just use that on its own, that wouldn't be enough coverage. Like if you've got red cheeks or anything, I wouldn't. Next, NYX Thick It Stick It. You see this in my videos. I want to use that up. I thought I'd try it because I like to try new things, but I still love my MAC brow set the best for holding my wiry brows. I have very wiry brows. This doesn't hold it as well as I like it. And I find like hair sticking out. <laughs> uh, but when I use the, the MAC brow set, I just use the clear one. I don't get that problem. Next, Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes in the shade Blue Grey. And my lid is all broken and scummy. I don't know what's in it. I should clean it, shouldn't I? Scum. I'll probably buy another one of these because I actually love this shade. You can't wind this all the way up, but I can see through the through the um, plastic here when you hold it up to the light. That is what's left. That's where it's left at. And this is what it looks like. I love it. It's like a grey blue. Oh, it's so it's such a beautiful colour. I don't know if you can see the blue in it, but it does go grey blue. Absolutely beautiful, and I'll probably buy that shade again because it's it's more unique. I'm not into buying boring old brown. I like a bit of colour. I might buy a brown, but I'll probably buy this blue grey again. So you know I like that one. That'll be a repurchase. And I forgot. I should show you, I'll show you a swatch of this. Let's put it here. There's Taffy Tees. Little peach colour. I don't think I don't think they offer much coverage, a little bit. And then here's Baby Brute. Look at all the glitter coming off though. Oh dear, I hate it. I hate it. Put me off buying these again. There's Baby Brute. Sorry I didn't swatch these before. I'm new. So and then I'll do these for you. This is Let's Make Waves, the Illuminator things. Here's Let's Make Waves. And you just blend these in. Oh my God, it's leaking out of somewhere else. <laughs> Look what it's done. It's come out down there, not in the... Oh, you stupid thing. Now I definitely need to use that up, don't I? What a mess. I've just screwed the lid on it. Anyway, here it is. There's that. It's pretty. And then uh, this one is Magic Hour. Hope this one doesn't do the same thing. There's Magic Hour. Let's give that one a blend. This one's more golden. This one's pink. And now I look red in the camera. Don't ask. I don't know what I'm doing with my camera. Need a better one, do I? And I don't know what shades these are, but you can see one is lighter and one is darker. So, oh, and I'll do a do a swatch of this Becca for you as well. 
So there, look, you can see how deep my finger goes in there to give you an idea. That's what I think. I just think that is so chalky looking. And when you blend that in, it just looks grey on my black circles. So there's that. Hate panning. Hate panning it. <laughs> right, so now I've caught up, haven't I? I've got my swatches. Whee! I'll come back, you can see it better. That's what I'm doing wrong. I'm getting too close, am I? Now next, I have got the Givenchy Cold Couture Waterproof Retractable Eyeliners in two different shades. These were limited editions. I have to use them up. One is called Poppy. And I have lots. I can wind this all the way up. I have lots and lots and lots of that one. That's all the way up because I just heard it click. So I need to use that red. And I try and wear that in, in winter months or even as a lip liner. And then it's got the little sharpener thing if you want to sharpen it in there. I think these are quite good. I like them. So that's the red one. And this one's called Iris. And you can see that I like this one because that is all I've got now. So I've been using that one a lot. And oh, swatches, Hayley. He's there. Nearly in the balm. Dear, dear me, the poppy. So there's poppy. Oh my god, I'm breaking it. Broke this one. Get in there, will ya? It, it goes to show that I need to use it up because it's dry and it's it pulled out when I... This one's iris. Nice, beautiful purple, that one is. I'm trying to get the right light. I think I'm going to have to turn it up because it's not showing how I think it should show. It's more of like a pastel-y purple. It's nice. I really like it. Next, I have got Clinique Chubby Sticks for Eyes. So this is Ample Amber and that's Portly Plum. And the reason I need to use these up is because I know that they are starting to dry out because when I tip it like that, it will fall out. Whereas I'll show you one, that's what I've got left of it. I'll show you one that is not old. This is brand new. This shouldn't fall out. See, that's brand new. But you can tell I really love these. This is my second one of these. I buy these all the time. This is my fourth one of these, Ample Amber. And that is loose in there. You can tell it's gone drier because it's gone loose and it, it's shrunk. But I use that all the time. Starting to go dry though, so I need to use that. I use these as just a quick eye look or as a base. I think they're brilliant. They're not a long, long lasting one though. And then this is Portly Palm. And the same thing I think happens with that. Watch. Yeah. That one I've got more of because I don't use it as much. So I need to definitely need to use these up. But I've been using these as base. Why aren't you going back in your little... <laughs> Come on, get in your hole. There you go, you're in it now. It's in now. Yeah, and I've hardly touched that one. Look, that's all the way wound down. And I've hardly touched it. It's a dis disgrace. I think that's my second one of those, though. I've had this before. So I better get on... And use that one. Another thing I hate about this is when I try and take the lid off, sometimes this inner bit stays on there and then I have a scrap with it trying to get it out. But yeah, I've been using this as a base under a lot of my um, palettes. So eyeshadows in my palettes, <laughs> any purple looks or whatever. And then next I've got more Clinique Chubby Sticks. Now these are not going off. They're fine. But it's just that they're creams and I use them every day. Well, a lot of days anyway. You can tell I love them. This is my second one of the pink. And then I thought, because I loved it so much, I got the peach. So I use the pink in the winter and the peach in the summer. This is Robust Rhubarb Amped Up Apple. And I can show you, are these newish? No, see, I've used that a little bit because they usually come... So it's domed over a bit. So I have used them both a little bit. They're wound all the way down now. And then when you wind them all the way up, because you can wind these back, that's how far it goes. And then this pink one, see that's how far down it is. And it usually comes a bit domed. 
and then I wind it all the way up that's what I've got and then I'll show you when I check back in how much it's gone down we'll I'll probably wind it down like that so you can see it so that's um oh I haven't swatched those <clears throat> come on Hayley here's a swatch of robust rhubarb I mean, I can do it flat, do it flat. There's robust rhubarb, very beautiful. Nice peachy coral. It's like a peachy pinky coral for the, uh, that's coral, <laughs> for the summer. That is the definition of coral. And then this one's a more cool toned pink. For the winter that I like using, or if I just do a pink look, I, you know, a cool, more cool toned look, I'll use that one. And if I do a warm tone, look, I'll use that one. But I like using these all the time. I've got one, I've got the pink one on today. I have got the MAC Opalescent Face Powder. This is a limited edition in the shade Happy Go Dazzling Me. Sorry to blind you. There was a pattern all here, but it's all gone. It's got a bit of a dip. But the reason I want to use this up is sometimes it falls out of the pan, this thing. But luckily it stays in there most of the time. That really annoys me. I want to get rid of it. Did I use that today? No, I didn't. <laughs> See my other video, what I used. I used a uh, highlight out of here. Then next I've got MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light Plus, which I use all the time. As you can see, these usually come domed and it's not domed anymore. And I use that shade in the winter. I like using powders uh, a lot because I sometimes I find that liquids are too thick on my skin because I get an oily t-zone and then it just starts skating about so I'm a, I'm a lover of uh, powder foundations I really like them and I use that every day so I thought I might as well put that in the project pan and then I also use this very often this is the MAC block powder pressed in the shade medium and there it is with pan so we'll see how much more of that I pan this year. I'll do some monthly updates. Hopefully I can keep on track. So those are all my products. Rather a lot. I'm thinking oh, I've overdone it. But we'll see what I use up. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Why does that keep doing that? I'm going to scream. I'm not really going to scream that. Why is it glorious pan? Thing. Thank you.